Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Vivo Active 4 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the built-in watch faces on your Garmin Vivo Active 4. So doing this will utilize all the built-in tools that we have to customize the watch faces that came with the watch. If you're interested in installing third-party watch faces so you get more customized designs or more detailed data, check the description because I will have a tutorial covering how to do that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is open up the menu from the watch face by holding down the button down here in the bottom right. So just hold that down for a second or two. You'll see the options come up. Go ahead and select watch face. So in here they have some pre-configured watch faces that you can kind of scroll through. If you see one that you like, you can either just select it to make it your current watch face, or you can simply swipe it up to uh, customize it further to meet your needs. But what I'm gonna do is go all the way to the end of this list to where it has the plus symbol to create my own from scratch. So this will go through all the different options and settings that we have. First, we can choose the background. And all we need to do is just swipe up and down to see the different options. They have some colors, if you go down, and then if you scroll up, they have some different designs. So they have this little blue, and then they have some rings. I'm gonna do the default black. Once we've decided on our color, just swipe from right to left to go over to choose between analog and digital. So in here we can swipe down to see the different options and configurations for those two. I'll be doing digital. I'm gonna do classic look right there. And once we've decided which one we want, we can swipe from right to left to fill in our data fields. So each of these options will have a different amount of data fields available. So with this side-by-side -side option with the clock, you have two, but if I scroll and change it to where I have the hour and minute stacking on each other, if I go to that, as you can see, there are three data field options available. So I'm gonna just go back to the side-by-side -side and we'll go through and fill in these data options. So the way we select them and then choose what data is shown there is to simply select the little ring and then we can scroll up and down to go through the different available data field options. So as you can see, they have battery, steps, calories burn. They have several different options here we can go through. You could select the one you want, including heart rate, the current temperature, quick status of your, of your watch, Sunrise, sunset, that's always a nice one to have. Your move bar. And then they have this right here, which is kind of a combination of your steps, your body battery, and then your stair climbing. So once we made our selection, just select it, and that'll add it to the watch face. Now we can select the other data field, and that'll bring up the options to add more data there. I'm gonna put a battery meter. So we just select that, and then we will have that added in. Now to move on to the next step, just go, just swipe from right to left. The next and last option is going to be a bar that goes around the watch face that'll represent the seconds of the current minute. So if I swipe down, you can kind of see what that looks like. It's that little white bar. And if I swipe up, you can see that it goes away. Now that will use more battery life, so I'm not gonna do it. So I'll swipe up, and then once we're done, we simply hit the top right button right here to save our watch face. I'll just do that. Then as you can see, that is my current watch face. So that's how you customize the built-in watch faces for your Garmin Vivo Active 4. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Vivo Active 4 tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.